So, did you ask the kids? Yes, I did. They will both be here tomorrow night. Good. Any problems? Mm, no. As a matter of fact, I was pretty impressed with Mara. She seems to have adjusted to the fact that I love you. And there's not a whole lot she can do about it. Better not be. Mm. She even convinced Shane that a good time would be had by all. Oh. Well, it looks like things are looking up for a change, huh? Yeah. You mind saying that with a little more enthusiasm? <laughs> sure. Josh, what is it? Um, th there's other news. Reva and Noah, uh, they're engaged. Wow, they're getting married. Looks that way, yes. Well, th that's, that's great news. You think so? Well, yeah, don't you? No, I think it's a mistake. I think it's a big mistake. So you don't think that, that Reva moving on with her life is a, a good thing? Mm, well, I didn't say that, actually. I just uh, uh, am concerned about her choice of the person she wants to spend that life with. Well, you know, she had her concerns about me, but you knew what you wanted. Uh, I'm sure she knows who she wants, too. I don't think Reva has ever known what she wants. Thank you. You know, they've been seeing each other for months, Josh. If they're in love, then... See, I, I don't really see that as the point, though. He's an enabler. He uh, encourages her impulsive behavior, and I don't think she needs someone like that. Well, it's just that we, we have them tomorrow night. And, um, how do you think they're going to take it? I don't know. Do you want to cancel? Avoid the problem? No, no, not on your life. Mara seemed like she was okay with coming here. I, I just don't know how things are going to turn out. That's I think it'll be fine, you know? I, I, I have a feeling about this. Do you? Yeah. I think we're all going to get together and we're going to have a, a great time. A really great time. Hi, how are you? I'm well. Good. I'm here to pick up a special dessert order. The name's Lewis. Oh, that's right, yes. Excuse me for a minute. Good evening, Towers. Oh, absolutely, Mr. Santos. Antonio Santos, table for two, 8 p.m. tonight. Everything will be extra special for you and your lady. Thank you. Bye-bye. I know this is short notice, but do you have a table for five this evening, say around eight o'clock? Yes, I do. Clock Great. For Lewis. Thank you. All right. And let me check on that takeout order for you. Uh-huh. All right. Tony's having dinner with a lady friend, and it isn't Mara. This could solve a problem. It's 7.30. Hey, would you hand these out to me, please? Considering you're blackmailing me, do I have a choice? Well, I'm not blackmailing you. I'm protecting your father. Do you know how he'd feel if you knew about that tryst with Tony the other night? Shh. He'd be very upset. Now, will you please serve those with a smile? Thanks. <sighs> Olivia made them. I tried one. They're quite good. You mean you're actually praising my sister? Shane, niceness alert. Ebola, delirium, disco fever, what's up? Uh, I think it's alien abduction. Uh, they Here put a chip sir. in her brain. What brain? <laughs> or derv, brother dear? How fast can you say straight jacket? Ignore them, sweetheart. With pleasure. <clears throat> um, Olivia, is there anything more I can do to help you? No, but thank you for asking. Sit, relax. Okay. You're in such a conciliatory mood this evening. Well, I can be civil when properly motivated. Sometimes I can be downright charming. Actually, I can vouch for that. Here you go. <laughs> and so will I. So, what's up with your mom tonight, huh? She go out or something? No, she and Noah are staying home. I see. So there's nothing uh, new. Uh, everything's okay on that front. Uh, you know, your mom, Noah. Olivia, I'm... Sorry to put a damper on things, but I think I smell something burning. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, what happened? Come on. What? I put it on the oil! Why did I. Why did the it's smoke okay. it's fine. Go Look at it. Oh! 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 oh. I ruined uh, our dinner! I okay. burned it! It's, it's all right. It's okay. We'll order a pizza. We'll no. make some pie. 
pasta or something, pizza, okay? Pizza, good? It's shameful, Ada Brooks. We can't have pizza. Well, we'll go out. We'll go to Towers. Okay, all right, that's fine. Let, let me make a phone no, call. No, you go, and I will okay, make the I'll reservation. Okay, I'll tell the kids. Oh, that's sad-looking meat. Okay. Okay, here's the deal. Uh, dinner's been slightly burned, so uh, we're gonna go out. <laughs> well, why don't we just uh, order in pizza or something? Well, well, we're gonna try to make uh, reservations first. If we can't do that, then we'll order in pizza. No, it's good news. <coughs> we got a table. Great. <laughs> <coughs> that's, that's our last touch right there. I guess she wants us to dance. Well, no one else is dancing. Oh, well, yeah, it's because they're a bunch of gringos with no rhythm. <laughs> Come on, Luis is watching. You said let's have a good time, right? Mm -hmm. Right? So let's go, Chica. If you do, you will ruin everything. Let her father see with his own eyes that you don't care for her. This is a good thing, no, trust no, no. me. This is a nightmare. She's never gonna understand this. She will once I speak to her. Now keep dancing. Are you all right? I told you, I, I broke up with Tony. He just didn't waste any time moving on. Let me tell you something, darling. If Tony has forgotten about you that quickly, he didn't deserve you in the first place. Your father's absolutely right. She was going to be the mother of my children. Now, we go back to our table, holding hands. A happy face, please. She, she's never going to understand. I'm, I'm a dead man. She will when I explain it to her. Don't worry, it will be fine, I promise. I'm sorry. Sure you are. I am. He's a fool. Excuse me. Mara, don't. Let her go, let her go. She should get this out of her system. awful for her. I'm sorry she got hurt, but having said that... We warned her about Tony. Well, she found out the truth about him on her own, and sometimes that's the best way. What if they're hurting each other in there? They're not hurting each other. I'm sure Mara's conducting herself in a very ladylike and, and responsible manner. I thought you were my friend. I... I'm your friend. You know how much I love Tony. And that's why I'm with him tonight. Oh, that makes sense. It does, if you will just listen. The other day, Senora Santos saw Tony and I together at Inferno and somehow got in her head that we were involved. Oh, I wonder how on earth she would have gotten that impression. Wishful thinking. She does not want you with Tony any more than your family does. So, to encourage our relationship, she gave Tony money to take me out. She practically ordered him. So you were like, sure, why not? Free meal, cute guy. No, no, I was reluctant. But then Tony convinced me that it would be a good idea, the perfect setup. See? Setup, is that how you say it? Setup, how? Senora Santos assigned one of her men to drive us here tonight. He's been sitting at the bar all night long watching us. He will report back to Mrs. Santos that Tony and I are a happy couple. Do you follow me so far? I guess. Mrs. Santos will think that Tony has forgotten all about you. She will be happy and cause no more trouble for the two of you. And now your father has seen the same thing. He will think the same thing, that you and Tony are finished. So this whole thing is, is just an act, an act, nothing more. So it'll make our parents get off our case. So that you can still see each other in secret, yes. 
So, the dancing, was that part of the act too? Mrs. Santos requested Latino music. Mara, I, I did this for you. For, for you and Tony. You, you could be a little more grateful. All right, I'm grateful. But after tonight, just stay away from my boyfriend. Fine, fine. I will stay away from Tony. And you know what? I'm gonna stay away from you too. I'm gonna stop passing messages between the two of you. I'm gonna stop giving you both alibis and I'll stop lying for you. Believe me, believe me, Mara. Nothing would please me more. Oh, Catalina, I'm sorry. I know that you just, you were helping and, and I really appreciate it, really. Please don't be mad at me, please. 